All right. So, here we go again. Come on, capture magic. All right, let's play Modern Horizons. We're going to start traditional. And hopefully we are going to be able to make a good deck. By the way guys, if you have any suggestion, I'll be happy to hear it. I'm still not quite sure how to successfully draft this set. Um, because it's not that easy to to go into three colors even though you have a lot of fixing and the special lens and so on. Sometimes I feel just like the uncommons are more strong than the rares. Hmm. Probably the Apprentice here is the strongest card. Hope and Kotal is strong too. I also like the Riddlegate Gargoyle. And the Bogger Trawler. The rares are not really worth mentioning that early. I guess the Apprentice is probably the strongest card. Especially when you can get her back from the grave, maybe. Tony and Nightmare would be great. I'll take her. Maybe we should really stay. Robert Familiar fits greatly to our apprentice, actually. What is that? At the beginning of your end step, if you control a creature, look at the top seven cards of your library. Then you may sacrifice a creature. If you do, you may put a creature with mana value X or less from among those cards into the battlefield where X is one plus the sacrifice creature mana value. Put the rest in the bottom of your library in any order. Oh, uh, I don't know, it's a cool card, but I guess I go for the familiar, actually. This guy is interesting. I'll, I'll take the... Charge bug is also an artifact. We are already into artifacts, kinda. Disciple is interesting. Grim Servant is okay. Master the Departed. I'm not quite sure. Also, a little bit like energy stuff. Sure. Let's take the charge back. Strength of Harvest is a great card, but not really fitting into our colors so far. But maybe we don't have to do much about colors yet. We could also go and grab just this land. Snapping Void Craw is insane. Not quite sure. I guess I'd take the strength of Harvest. Maybe we can splash a little bit green. Wumpus Aberration is strong too. Twisted Landscape. The Void Menace. When you sacrifice a non-token permanent, create a 0-1 colorless Eldrazi spawn token. Sacrifice this. Hmm. 
We sacrifice a creature for anything I get. But as a 3 3 for 3. Published for me. Escape is cool. I guess I'll take that guy now. Maybe we can, can use that somehow. Grave dig is cool. But the blood soaked inside is great too, as it's also a land. I guess I'll take that. Oh, breathe your last is still in here. Wow, that's a great removal and it's so late in the pack and we still see that. Cool. Bogart Trawler is here too. So I guess black is kinda open. Pretty, two pretty good cards coming relatively late still into Shattered landscape or foreboding landscape? That's the question. I guess I'll take the shattered landscape. Deceptive landscape. Okay, we can get this too. We are not into blue anyway so far. This doesn't really matter. We're not going to play any of these, I guess. Owl Strike might be okay. So blue seems to be opened. Born Gang Commander, insane. Eldrazi Repurposer, insane. Guide of the Souls, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life and get one energy. Whenever you attack, you may pay three. Then when you do, put two 1-1 one, one counters on a flying and a flying counter on target attacking creature. It becomes an angel in addition to its other types. Seems to be great, but we are not really into white. Guess I go for the spawn gang commander. Repurposer would be good too. Wither and bloom I like. Strength of harvest and the gremlins is, are cool, but... I guess spawn gang commander is here easily the best pick for all the cards we have so far. <laughs> Eric Rebirth is worth mentioning for sure, seeing Brave Dick is good. That Reckless Pyro Surfer, ooh, I like them all. I guess the Rebirth is probably the most powerful. It's also removal, and we don't have too much removal in this set. So they are, I guess, worth grabbing. Oh, hard to say. I'd like to have the, the wooded foothills. I'd like to have the nightshade dryad, the repurposer. Ah, really hard to say. We take the dryad, we need more two mana cards. Oh, Evolution Witness. We gotta take him, I guess. On the other hand, Ral and the Implicit Mace is strong too. Not quite sure. Let's take the Saga over the Witness. I hope that's alright. Pyric Rebirth again. Evolution Witness again, too. Um, I'll take the removal, I guess. 
Although Evolution Witness would be great. But if we see now two Evolution Witnesses already, maybe we are lucky and one comes back to us in the end. Actually, I don't think so, because it's a pretty, pretty good card. Arena of Glory... We don't want to go into white. I take that. So far, we have only Wumpus aberration that really requires colorless mana. Signature slam. Oh, that's great, but I'd like to have the Dryad, too. It's better. Hard to say. So hard to say. Dryad is fixing, too. Signature Slam. Read your last and the rebirth are or only real remove. So f oh, fuck. Oh, but it took Signature Slam. Okay, I was too slow. Bands, hey. Go, our guy. I guess I go for the left. Hey. Another land. Yeah, we cannot. We cannot play. All not that great. This guy might be okay, but I. Oh, the wooded foothills are still here. Great. Great. That pick, I'm pretty happy. Guide of Souls, oh, another one. If we would have taken this guy earlier and we would have gone into white more, this could have been insane. Do it with two of those in your deck. Wither and Bloom is good, I guess. The Waste Escape Battle Mage is in. Horrific Assault, Wither and Bloom. I go for with and blue because we are so low on too much stuff. Let's go for repair. Ah, breathe your last again and nightshade dry it again too. Oh, this pack is great. I'd like to have this. Came back already once. Took that. Let's take the dry it. Oh, stump and stump stump. Genku! Oh, Genku is so strong, but we cannot fix I'm not sure about this deck, actually, so far. Let's see. I wish we had just a little bit more Eldrazi token generators. But maybe it's 
Twisted Landscapes here probably the pick. Ravager would be nice too. I guess Twisted Landscape is more... Ooh, Wumpus. Okay. I guess that will be a decent range it. Two are pretty. I guess when I take it off Earth so far, we gotta get the. Right to. Hard to say. I guess I go here for the mythic, just for the collection. Since the rest was not that great. I guess I'll just go for the uncommon. The two. Okay, let's see. Can build from it. So... Let's get this sorted a little. These all can be played as lands. So... Hmm... How looks... Okay, it's pretty evened out. We got like black and red and green pretty much into balance. Mm. We got Three or five sources for them. one three cards that can fetch a blue. One and to four sources for that. But a little bit more that can fetch a black a red land. We got one, two, four sources. Also shit. Um, I guess I'd w it would feel better when I had a second mountain in here. Just to be able to fetch a second mountain if it's necessary, because we have two cards that require two mountains. <laughs> I don't really like the Inventors Act, actually. But what else should we play? We cannot fix the stuff. Okay. 
Hmm. Want the full landscape? We can also get. I guess we would make it less reliable. Let's. It like. Let's try. I hope it's going to be all right. So, forest, a shattered landscape, a nightshade, riot, breathe your last. I think we can keep that. Barely. Probably. What do we want? Do we want to grab a black or red mana? I don't know. This is black and red. This is black. I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Play this shattered landscape. I guess we are fetching a swamp. Level and rumble, not bad. Gets the land. Two nice removals in the void. And we are going to look for... Swamp. Yes, Swamp was a good choice. Search your library for a card, exile it face down, then shuffle. Turn the exiled card face up. If it's a creature card, you lose life equal to its mana value. You may put the exiled card onto the battlefield if it's a creature card. You don't put it onto the battlefield. It's kinda interesting. Playing the sentry and cannot. Getting a token probably. No, a token for now. Okay. Let's play our escape, I guess. I guess we play our animation. So crazy what you guess I'll just take that. It's going to be expensive from our life points, but this is good insane. Yeah we are going to for some mana, I guess. It's going to attack sure. Dropping another lead again. Uh, 
We're going to look for now. Her sister, and this creature dies if it holds my down tower. Go with the minus one tower. It's a landscape. Thing is, we have no, we have no creature yet in point. I guess I'm just going. And maybe we are going. Breathe our last in turn. It's attacking. It's to go to battle. Rid of sentry. Yes. When Witch Enchanter enters the battlefield, destroy target enchantment an opponent controls. No, fuck, it's bad. Oh, there's nothing we can do about it. Too bad, too bad. I guess I was probably too greedy. something right another forest it's attacking with bow let's play with them let's see Guess we can do. Kalensky. Hello, hello. Nice to see you. Thank you for following. I appreciate it. How are you doing? Playing a cursed wombat. Oh no. Ah, oh, and he moved a counter from his gargoyle to my dryad. Nasty. I guess we just play our Ravager. Hope he got no out for that. Thank you so much for following, man. I hope you are going to enjoy the stream. Another left. All right. I think we don't need more mana right now, so we keep this as as the enchantment. Ah, oh, he got a removal. Shit. It's not looking good. Good.
Let's play our charge buck. Then we just snow it. End of turn. So potentially charge buck can block the gargoyle. Charge Park has a nice picture, you'd think so. So he's adapting. We are going to react on that with the Pyrek Rebirth to fetch that Eldrazi guy. We're going to deal six damage here. So he wasted just four mana. That's good. If he's going to attack, we just block this guy with the Charge Park. Okay. Good, good, he didn't. Um, so I guess we have a plan. We play the Arena of Glory. And we are going... to add two mana like this. Play Eldrazi Ravager with haste. We are going to attack with this guy now. And he got Annihilator, so if we attack with him, he gotta sacrifice a creature. He got Persist, though. So he's now flying and... Going to block, okay. Fine. So he got... Four cards, three cards left and seven mana. That's fine. Maybe we can make it. Um, we're going to enchant the charge bug. Since he got menace, so he cannot block him. And now we're going to attack with our two big creatures. I don't want to pay any energy, but... He gotta sacrifice a creature now. Ah, he gives up. All right, so the first match of our best of three is won already. Good. We don't have anything to sideboard because the other cards we grabbed are off color. But... Maybe we can do it anyway. He didn't board much anyway too, I guess, because he was ready pretty fast. Nice round. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Okay, we got three mana again here. Probably four with the Bogart Thrawler if we really need it. We could need green mana, but we, we cannot... We have no green mana. But we can play the charge bug early on. So it might be alright. I keep the hand. But it's really important that we find some green mana soon. Yeah, he needs green mana too. I guess we might want to cycle this for black mana. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, let's play this. Oh, and he ramps already, so this could be a hard one. Pretty hard one. Let's look for a swap. Play a mountain and we play our charm. Energy. Would be great if he could draw a mountain or something that can fetch us a mountain. Uh, I mean, almost. So. Right, we have not much choice. Let's play the Baller. 
don't need the mana right now, so it enters. Tap. Let's play X. Getting some more energy. Letting the charge bug through. Okay. Could have been a big mistake that we didn't take a mulligan. Since being not able to play our green creatures uh, is a problem. So, what is he going to do? She is. Hmm, Twisted Landscape, okay. I actually like to have more Twisted Landscapes in my deck. But we had more of those shattered landscapes and so on back. And he's actually on the Hydra train on the problem. It seems a little bit like he might be land flooded. And he got no planes yet, so maybe the creation is going to be better this time. Ah, Bountiful Landscape, that's good. We can finally fetch a forest. That's right. So... Are we going to exile again such a big creature? He's fetching a forest! Okay, I couldn't even fetch a plains anyway. Ah, uh, Ravager is tempting to spawn gang command. Since the Ravager can him again, can kill a. I don't know, I don't know. Ah, come on, let's get the dinosaur. We attack with our charge buck again. Ah, he's going to finish our charge buck. Okay. So this we end our turn. At least he cannot deal much damage with those two. Hopefully he's not finding a planes or his enchantment. But we will see. This cannot give him a planes. Looks good so far. Ah, he's adapting her. Show, so she grows. He's going at to attack for four. We're going to fetch forest. Charge box only two mana, so we cannot finish anyone with the Pyric Rebirth yet. Now oh, we took so much damage. We have to play the Dryad. Play the old oh, two and we equip that. Build the Dryad. Makes no really much sense, I guess. Yeah, she's it's deadly anyway, so maybe that was foolish. Maybe we should have taken a smaller creature. But down to eight already, that's all. Making me a little bit worried. 
we will see. I'm wondering if he's going to attack with both or only with one. Hmm. Got only three cards left in his hand. I'd like to play Vumpus Aberration too, but we would need colorless mana for this. Yeah, we need to blow. Definitely. This is huge. Oh, he's not cascading. Huh. Let's equip that again. And I guess we do nothing. We keep the Myrick Rebirth. It's aberration. We gotta keep two, probably. Oh, is he having a creature, a big creature, especially? Come on, let's let's find out. Yeah, he got okay. It, he could destroy that. Hey. Okay. Ah, it could have been worse, though, I guess. Could have been much worse. Can finish this with the Rel and the Implicit Maze. We have to. Or oh, we can double block and Pyric Rebirth one of our big guys. I think it could be worse. Yeah, we have to double block. I'm wondering which one he's going to kill. We don't have a second forest yet, so we cannot cast this guy. We are lacking one mana anyway. Twenty four landscape. So we're going to play that for sure. And the implicit will finish these. Hey, Virginia! Welcome back, man! Great to see you! Let's attack with Wumpus. How are you doing, man? Blocking! Fine! And turn. We're going to fetch another forest here, so we can cast soon on our Altisaur. I'm doing all right, getting ready for my Baldur's Gate 3 stream. Oh, nice. I'm going to take a look later when I finish my stream. I will come around with a little crew. I'm doing good, man. Thank you. So he's eternalizing this guy. Comes back as a 4-4. The Obsidian Gargoyle is here too. Oh, I guess we pass and catch the forest. Let's go. So, Twisted Landscape, we got two. Discard the Twisted Landscape. Ah. You may play them until the end of your next turn. The end of our next turn, so I guess that's good. We're going to take this guy back to our hand, and we're going to deal with more damage here. 
Privet and good luck. Hey! Hello, Axel! Privet, man! Good to see you again, too. And thank you so much. I will need the luck for sure. It's so cool that you are also watching when I play Magic, you, you guys. Not just Gods Unchained. Makes me happy. If they are lucky, he's going to die next turn. Almost like we like you and not the game. Yeah! It just feels so great. Cheers, guys. So he got five mana left. I guess we have good chances to end this soon. Oh, Glasswing Grace. It gets now flying and lifelink. Why is he doing that? That's so strange. He knows we have Foul Strike and now he got no mana left and we can finish this. Um, I'm so confused. Okay, we won. Nice. <laughs> Why was he playing that? Um, I just have no clue. Especially when he knows we have the flying rem creature removal. Okay, so we won so far one of our three best of threes. If we can win another one, I'm already happy. But if we win three, that would be really awesome. Play against a psychologist. That's strange. Oh, I think this hand is playable. It is a little bit slow. But I think it'll be. Probably. First, we are going to fetch a forest, I guess. Then we probably play the mountain. Yeah. Uh, we need black mana too, so we have to be careful. We gotta get the forest with the landscape. The bountiful landscape. Because this twisted landscape needs to fetch a swamp. I made 12 out of 18 wins on mythic rank with Amazon deck. Wow, cool! You promised to play my deck three times, but you never did. I have to. I have to. I will do it tomorrow. I was just keeping on forgetting to play your deck. I need to write down a note. Otherwise, I will forget it again. So I did so I'm sure I'll I'll play it tomorrow. Don't worry. So we're going to sacrifice this now. I'm just wondering if you play better or not. I guess not. I think you'll play better, I guess. But we will see. Um Actually, we could also play Deceptive Landscape instead of the mountain right now. We end up turn. Oh, he already placed the use back. Not bad. So we cycle on the mount. Wooded foothills. Oh. Going to play our repurpose now. It's not great, but it has any
He's adapting this so it grows to a 6-6. That's already a lot of damage. Uh-oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Trampling 2. Hmm. I'm afraid we are too slow. Can attack for three. I'm not sure at all. This will be probably too slow. Fuck. We can actually not do anything. Because we don't have enough of the... Shit. We needed to play another mountain. Oh no. What a dumb mistake. I have such a bad feeling about this. We're going down to 8 already. Let's catch a swamp. Let's fetch another swamp. I'm afraid that won't do too much. I noticed you don't have any more giveaway cards. Are they out? I was just a little bit lazy, actually, to be honest. I was just a bit, little bit lazy with the giveaways because last few days I had not much time. I will have more again, don't worry. Um, tomorrow I have one day at work again and then I have a few days off and I will put some in the pipeline again. Okay, let's end our turn. Let's see if he's going to do it. So with the Pyric Rebirth, we can finish this. Hopefully. He's not getting anything to pump it. Or... to protect it. Should be alright. Come on, finish it. Yes! Nice. So we still have a chance. Mmm, nice. Nice, nice. Let's play the Bountiful Landscape. Then we try to attack for three again. Wither and Bloom is fine. We get another Eldrazi, Eldrazi spawn token. We're going to cast our red. End of turn. Oh, another removal. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm not worried. I'm not watching for the sake of it, but I'd like to play Ico or a meta card. Oh yeah, I can imagine, man. Ah, damn it. Evolution witness. This is going to to get his Uzbek back. Hmm, this is strong. 
But I hope it'll be too slow. Maybe not. Oh god, he can get another permanent back even. Revitalizing the past or the slip. Ah, this is so strong. Giving him so much value. Uh oh. Now I'm not quite sure what we have to do. Do we want to play the Ravager? Or do we want to keep those tokens for the spawn gang commander? I guess we want. We need to play the Ravager. Right here, right now. Now we just gotta hope he's not having another removal. He could play already both of his creatures. That alone would already be pretty strong. Oh, well, I'm afraid he might have another black removal. Yeah, damn it. Got another removal. I guess we are going to die here. Take five damage in the face. He can adapt this guy to be... Six... Six trample? That's too big. Could play this guy. Rumpus um, Aberration. But that won't be enough. Yeah. No, it's not enough. We are going to die anyway. It's too big. And trampling too much. Okay, let's try again. We still have a chance against this guy. Hmm. I guess probably our start was just too slow. Maybe I should have taken a mulligan. I'm not sure. We play for... Ah, this hand is already pretty slow again. But it could be all. Sure, we are missing so much mana. Could try to get the charge bug out early. Then we are already lacking again. Fuck. I don't know. I keep that. Took a mulligan though. But on the draw, it's not. Hmm. Let's start with Shattered Land. Wanna fetch? Found. Ah, Strength of Harvest, that's good. So we play that landscape and the charm. Oh, gee. A level and rumble. It's just so good. He got so strong stuff in. He's really playing a strong deck. He gets Wobbert. Uh, 
Yeah, we gotta play that tank. We're going to attack. End of turn. We are going to cycle the Ravager. The end of his turn. Going to play his cursed wombat, I guess. No, the repurpose. That cycle him now. Foothills and twisted skin. That twisted landscape we could get get a swarm. Repurpose us just strong. Maybe we can fool him. Let's try to attack. Yeah, he's going to block. All right. That's neat. Yeah, and we gotta play the Twisted Landscape to fetch um, um, Swamp. If he's not sacrificing those Eldrazi spawns yet, we might play Rel and the Implicit Maze to get them rid of... Ah, okay. Hey, this is for sure a problem we gotta tackle. I'm sacrificing this for a swamp now. Wooded food hills. Sacrificing these for another mountain. And then. We got a hard cast Pyric Rebirth to get rid of this thing. So we cannot give it tokens and draw cards. So that's pretty. Attack again. Next turn, we have already enough mana to play our Ravage. Turn. Whew! This is definitely a strong opponent. First Wombat. Slightly too strong for our Rel and Evolution Witness. Oh, okay. Um, uh, he's sacrificing the spawn. He can adapt this one. Anyway, we want to sacrifice this now, I guess. Slam. It's an instant. Interesting. I'm afraid we gotta keep this. Cannot cast anything else. Going to attack with a charge block. And when he wants to adapt, gotta use our signature slam. Not sure. On the other hand, if he got enough mana, he will just adapt again. Two. 
However we do it, when we move first, we get problem. Or we just play the Ravager. The Ravager will let him sacrifice stuff anyway. I'm not sure about it. I'm actually not sure about it. But when he adapts, he's already using a lot mana, so we are maybe fast, hopefully. So he's getting an additional 1-1 one -one counter because of the Bombard. Can he then get two creatures? That would be... Yeah... This is completely insane. Lethal throwdown. Fuck this. Oh man. I'm afraid we are going. I don't know what I should have done. I just don't know. He just... Little throwdown might have been better. Going down. Let me play all. We'll have enough mana for the city just left. Okay, that's actually not too bad. I hope he got no combat trick or removal. Like this, we could probably kill them both. Come on, you you don't top deck and yeah. combat trick. Right? Right? But yeah, he plays another evolution witness and he can make put those counters on there again and he's grabbing two cards from his void again. That's a huge pain. That's really not about it. Army of Jealous Thirst. Oh, he's going to try to drain us with... We attack with the charge buck. He cannot block this without losing two creatures. So I guess it's fine. Ah, okay, he's blocking with these two. Okay. Interesting. Maybe we should have attacked with the repurposer. 
actually. But, but in, in the worst, but yeah, maybe I was uh, too hesitating. Or we could have tried to race him, especially with the axe. That thing is getting two cards from the grave back. That is a so insane. Oh, sorry. Let's sacrifice this. Get the last hole. Pump stomp. Okay, let's throw this away. X might be two. I don't know. I cannot play this yet. I hope this is not a mistake. Okay, I guess it's now or never. Come on, cascade something cool. Fuck, he can bring something in too because it was cast without paying this mana. Oh fuck! The ooze back! Oh no. Oh. Yeah, let's. Wanna play this? He's playing a little fitness again. Oh, he's playing Reaper. But he's putting your counters on. Guess. The Wombat and the Evolution Witness together is just so disgusting. Wither and Bloom. Okay. That's probably our best chance. We're going to kill... First one, but we're going to kill. It man. to play this as land tapped that equipment aberration 
And we're going to attack. Or maybe I should have attacked only with Aberration, so that both die when he blocks. Sure. He definitely needs to get a big board now to not die. Kami of the Jealous Thirst, okay. So this might block the 5-5 guy. Now he still needs at least... Free toughness to block the Vumpus. Evolution witness is not enough. He's not having enough mana for Gangantua. He might have a removal. Let's see. Ah, Marionette Apprentice. So we make a servo and token. We're going to attack two. Let's see. Yes, it's enough. Oh, we still have a chance to win this best of three. Let's go. He's sideboarding a little, okay. Oh fuck, we cannot keep this hand. We have only one mana. Otherwise, it's a great hand. If we just had another green... That's a pain. It looks slightly better, but only slightly. We cannot play this for a long time, so we gotta remove. Ah, crap! And the first creature is a three mana creature. Holy. I'm not sure if I want to play Strength of Harvest or Stump Stomp. I'm not feeling good. Tent. It already plays mid level. He's grabbing the Uzbek, so he can already play Uzbek next turn. Crazy. We are too slow. Way too slow. And he's just too far.
creature we get out is so much weaker than him. I'm afraid I cannot even play Wumpus. Maybe if we top deck um, Colorless Mana, we could play that guy. But otherwise, it's with such a big hand. Or maybe we are even forced to do it. Try it. Try it is cool. I wish we had more. I would like to play Dryad and Stomp Stomp if we had just one more land. This is crap. We play this now as a land. We need it as a removal. The army of the Jealous Sir Thirst. That stump stomp too. <laughs> okay. This is all right. Oh, he got a removal too. This he attacks for seven. That's just too fast. We are not even doing too bad, but we are in fact. Uh, the last match we were barely able to win, but now we have no chance. It's just way too far. Damn it. So, one win, one loss. Come on, let's make it at least a 2-1. We need it to get a thousand gems back. We need to keep the gems train rolling. So we can keep playing those drafts more often. We play. I tend to keep this hand, but we definitely need to top deck another land. Let's go for... I don't know. Urgently. Oh, good. And it's even one we can fetch a black one with. So I think we're going to be alright. Our oh, opponent is a little bit slow starting too. Trickster Elk. Just the... Let's try to attack with repurposer. It's going to block. I guess we just let and play them too. Limps the impossible, okay. Just but slow. Let's 
getting it. And okay. We're going to play Bogart Trawler and Stilt. And we pay the free life to be. to pay the refurbished familiar. Let me discard a card. He's casting something big. Ah, he's destroying an artifact and sending this one back to my hand. Not bad. Exiling even. Oh, I wish I could have taken that back with the rebirth. All right, though. So we play this guy again. Four, five, with the reach going to attack with the 2-2, two, two, that's fine. So... I'm going to play the signature slab. And then we are going to attack with the Drazi spawn. And we'll give it a with this thing we are going to fetch a red mana so we can cast that guy next turn probably let's see ah holy Good. Hopefully he's not going to finish us now. Oh, we take nine damage. It's dangerous. Oh, he forgot to to sacrifice. have only a three mana creature in the void, so it might be better to play just It's going to be a close match for sure.
Nimmst du den Post? Leech Smash. Target creature gets 3, 2 and trample until... You can make some decent pressure with that, but it won't be quite enough. And the other thing still can do. So I guess the glimpse was not successful. I think he's going to die. Yeah. Once we do. But on the other hand, he wouldn't have played the glimpse the impossible, I guess, if he got something useful. got a block, he's going to play a Siege Smash. Might play the skittering persecute recursor too. So going to this now. Oh umput. Destroy that. So that's a good start. I hope we can catch another win. Let's try. So our hand is Okay, I guess, with the blood soaked inside, it can be alright. We have no early creature though. I, I feel like we always have not that great hands with this deck. It's just so slow and clunky. I'm so glad we have that charge buck top decked here. Maybe we can rush him down, actually. Let's try... I can actually pump that charge bug pretty insane. I think he won't have a hard room. Siege smash. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> no. No way. Ah, oh, that was bad. Really bad. 
that time. I'm afraid when I cast this now, he might... Might pump it and survive. I'm afraid if he play Wumpus Aberration, he's casting something great from his hand. Oh, he's not holding a creature. That's true. Yeah, I know. You don't have a creature. You would have played it with five mana if you met. I hope I'm spe speculating correctly. But it's not too insane, I hope. It's still at an alrighty level. At first we attack before we do it. We have enough stuff to react. Let's equip the axe, I guess. Some additional damage. And let's play the Mary. We are going to get a servo token. If he got no removal or huge creature, this could be over pretty fast. Now we know what he's up to. Oh, we... What do we do with that in... Yes, we don't want to... Let's give this to the servo team. Going to attack with all. He gotta block the boost. It's going to do 8 damage still. Nine damage when the Bumpus dies with the marionette advantage. Ah, he's destroying the servo too. Not bad. Definitely. 
So he's still at four. And kill the flesh raker though. I will create a colorless Eldrazi spawn token, sacrifice this, add one mana. And Eldrazi you control guys, we put a 1-1 one, one cow. Let's go. As long as Idol of the False Gods has 8 or more 1-1 one, one counters, or oh, it's a 0-0 zero, zero creature in addition to its other type. We barely have not enough mana, right? Or do six, seven? Okay, I'm going to get charge back. Going to destroy this. We uh, use it like this to give it taste. We equip the axe. Oh, it's not enough actually. Maybe I should have played it. Actions. I have. Ah, should have gotten gotten the marionette apprentice. Oh, fuck! I misplayed. Hmm. That's such a pain. Yeah, that was my mistake only. Shit. Oh, we are going to die because of that, right? Fuck. That was such a dumb mistake. Marionette apprentice, he would have died already. And now he's just sacrificing this and dealing damage. Enough. Ah, crap. Why did I do that? Now, on the other hand, if he had taken the Marionette apprentice, the first attack. Because she got no manners. I don't know. Fuck. Got that. It's just going to attack and he's going to sacrifice those again. Fuck, we are. Oh, that was so close. I don't want to lose that best of three here. <laughs> Damn it. Come on, let's try again. And please, Arena Shuffler, give me a decent. Okay, that's a decent. Yes. Keep. We're going to get a mountain first and play the swamp to play the charge bug, I guess. He took one all again. That we could get a forest. Yeah, 
Passou. Alright. Hydra Okay. Swamp. Oh, this could be juicy when we play that uh, that early. Come on, let's. Couldn't have taken the dinosaur actually because he's not cascading when I when I cast him like that. It was not good. Let's play the landscape. And the inventor's axe. Still going to attack. Might be a little bit brave, but to let him discard a card. This is going to fetch us forest. It's gonna attack again. We go down to seven. Second. Drink star elk. Okay, I don't know. Let's fetch a forest. Ooh, signature slam. Signature slam is interesting. Okay, we attack and then we see what he does. Yeah, we pay. Not blocking at all. Okay. Now let's play Reaper. So we can keep the signature slam for a case of It gains 3, 2, and trample until the end of the game. Ah, oh, fuck, horrific assault. No way. No way. Now he's going to attack with these two. Yeah. Oh. No, we're going to die, right? Not going. Take five damage. Oh, it's getting close. No, we can deal two damage with this. Oh, no. Okay, can he wait? And he needs seven, seven things in the void for that. Okay. So, we play our mountain and focus operation, I guess.
and we are going to attack with these two. And I hope it's going to be all. We got one card left. It's a good card, isn't it? Good game, man. That was so close. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. So we are ending this draft with two wins and one loss. All right, all right. I'm quite happy about that. So we get a thousand gems and three packs. That's fine. It's fine. For well, sure three would have been better, but yeah, with thousand gems, I'm already pretty fine. So we can keep the gem train rolling. We can keep the draft train rolling for a little bit longer. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to end the stream now for today. I hope you are going to have a great day. And good luck for your games. See you soon. And now we're going to raid my friend Virginia. He's going to play Baldur's Gate 3. I hope you are going to enjoy that too. Leave him some nice comments. Hope he's online already. I'm afraid. I don't know. No, Bird is not online yet, it seems. He was saying he's going to get online later, but I don't know which time. Damn. Maybe maybe should take a look later. Oh, now we gotta raid someone else. Let's raid Burp93. Bird and burp. Almost the same. Yeah, let's go. And have a nice day. Bye bye.